Welcome to Defense and Space News TV. If you not subscribe this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's begin today's video. At first, we are going to discuss about Aura. The first flight is expected to take place by 2019 and 2020. And the program name is Aura, Autonomous Unmanned Research Vehicles, with the current working title being IUSAV, Indian Unmanned Strike Air Vehicles. It would be powered by a covered engine. The designers are Aeronautical Development Agency and Aeronautical Development Establishment and also IIT Kanpur. 231 crore have been approved for this project. The model is presently undergoing wind tunnel test at IIT Kanpur. DRDO chief Dr. S. Christopher has said nobody will share the technology that go into Ghatak. And that's the reason why we have to commit to build every piece of technology that will make the proven stealth unmanned combat aircraft. SAFE is the most important part in this project. SAPing is 70% of the signature reduction process. We have got an outdoor cross-section test measurement facility in Hyderabad which will test the model. Next update. Many of the people asked about is it true that the Sukhoi SU-35 has joined MMRC2 tender? There are reports that Sukhoi has offered SU-35 for MMRC2 tender. However, I didn't find any reports from any of the leading mainstream media such an offer. There is no official reports from Sukhoi stating the offer of SU-35 to Indian MMRC2 tender. The deadline for responding to the RFI was 6 July 2018. I don't know how is it possible for Sukhoi to respond the RFI after the deadline was has been passed. Lots of news nowadays are totally fake create only for generating publicity or simply created if it not actual news is available. Next we are going to discuss about the reason why US is not putting sanction for a sponded deal. To counter China, US needs a friend in Asia. Pakistan and US relation is not so good. So India is the only one option. If it goes with the sanction, then no fence in Asia. For counterterrorism operation, India is the trusted partner and no other country have been at such and fortunate than India for anti-terrorism operation and awareness. At present, there is no other big economy that is democratic and ally with the US. US will keep this in mind that more sanction means more loss than benefit. And also India is not an ally of US, so not bounded by any US sanctions and other activities. India is in quite healthy condition in terms of economy and will not bend for money and pressure. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.